I'm Ali and I'm a digital illustrator and I thought today we could talk about digital art programs and which one is the best. I thought I'd make this video because I've tried quite a few different digital programs and looked at various options and have decided which one was right for me. So I thought this information would be helpful to other people. Let's get started. The first one I thought we could take a look at is Krita. Krita is a digital art program, program for Windows, Macs and Linux only. It's not compatible for iPad or tablet. It is a great program but it requires a tablet, mouse or a pen. And it is supported by the Wacom, Huion Sur and Surface Pro tablets as well. My only problem with Krita is that you'd need a separate tablet to, to use it to draw, otherwise you'd have to use a mouse. Which is why for me it wasn't quite an option. However, they do have a free option available and a paid option available if you want to try, and if you're happy with it. The payment is a once off and it's 100 Rand on Steam or $6.25. It does also have a minimum requirement of 4GB of RAM. So make sure you check that before you purchase it. And make sure to try it as well before you purchase it. The next one I've seen most artists use is Paint Tool Sai or SAI. It works on Windows, tablets and mobile devices. However, it's the same problem with Krita and requires a tablet, mouse or a pen. And it is compatible with graphics tablets such as Wacom, Huion and the Surface Pro. Unfortunately, there's no free option available so you cannot pay or you cannot have a free trial to test it out. Which is the only problem that I found. For me, before I commit to a program, I'm always willing to try it out. And if it doesn't have a free trial option available, then I'm probably not going to try it or go for it at all. It's a great tool that I've seen many artists use. And from what I could see, you can definitely do quite a bit with it. So it does have a paid option, which is a one off which is 812 Rand or $50. For me, that's quite a bit of money to spend on a program that may or may not work for me, which is why I wouldn't quite recommend this unless you've seen proper reviews on YouTube from other artists and creatives using this program. All of these programs can have extra brushes that you can download or purchase from other creatives and websites that you can actually include when drawing as well. That's just something to keep in mind. Now the next one is Clip Studio Paint. This is also a common program that um, artists like to use and I've seen quite a few, more than 10 artists use this program. It is compatible with Windows, tablets and mobile devices as well. However, you do need a tablet, mouse or a pen. You can use your finger to draw as well if you're using it on your mobile device, but I don't know how easy that would be to do. It is also compatible with iPad, iPhone, Galaxy, Android, Chromebook, Windows and Mac. And what's nice about this is that not only have I seen other artists use it, but it also has a free trial option available and a paid option available, which means you can test it out before you purchase. It does, however, have a yearly plan cost instead of a once-off, and that the cost for a one-year plan for a single device is 400 Rand or $24. Now, my next personal favorite before I started using iPad and Photoshop was actually Sketchbook Pro. Now, this is a free program that works on Windows, tablets, and mobile devices. The Android version or tablet version does not have imported brushes option, the imported brushes option available yet. However, if you work on a Windows and you can connect your um, drawing tablet, they, it does allow for imported brushes on the paid option. As I also said, it does require a tablet, mouse or a pen, so you can use on your computer or on a drawing tablet. And it is also compatible with iPad, iPhone, Galaxy, Android, Chromebook, Windows. And remember, before you purchase this product, um, please check the, the actual compatibility on their website as well. Because I did take a look and this is just a summary of what they are compatible with. So the Sketchbook Pro on mobile devices, aka a tablet, is free and there is also a paid option available for PC and desktop. The paid option is a once-off payment of 400 Rand or $22, which is great for creatives, particularly can't afford trying out a new program. Create as a starting program without having to put in too much initial cost. They also have a wide variety of brushes available, much similar to Procreate. Next up is Adobe Photoshop. 
Adobe Photoshop works on Windows, tablets, and mobile devices. However, it does also require a tablet, mouse, or a pen. It is compatible with iPad, iPhone, Galaxy, Android, Chromebook, and Windows, and Microsoft Surface. Remember to please check the compatibility on their website. Now, the only problem that I had with Adobe Photoshop is that it has a, it is paid, and it does have a free trial. However, to continue, it is a monthly and yearly payment. The yearly cost is 5,000 rands or $275. Now, the problem that I have with Photoshop is that in general, with Adobe programs, you can either get a license, a general license, or you can get a license specifically for one or two programs. However, it's still very expensive. So you would have to get a Creative Cloud membership, which is basically what you pay for. Which is why I personally would not recommend this because it is a very expensive product. Although it is great, it is very expensive specifically for young indiv young individual artists and, you know, startup creatives who would like to draw and would like to look into digital art but simply can't afford it. It is, however, great because it does have a variety of brushes available from other creatives and um, artists as well as people who have made brushes compatible with Procreate and Photoshop as well. So if you ever in the future decide you want to pay for the, for brushes and you know you're doing really well and you want to swap over to another program like the Procreate, you can keep those brushes as well and use them on Photoshop and on Procreate. Now the next program <laughs> that I'd like to talk about is Procreate. <laughs> So Procreate works on Apple iPad only, which is quite a bit of a limitation as well, unlike all the other programs that either are limited to Windows or limited to Apple, or both. Now unfortunately this also is only technically for the tablets, the Apple iPad tablets. They do come in a variety of sizes, but the majority, the larger ones are very expensive. Um, I personally recently got an iPad 8th gen and it cost me 7,000 Rand Which is $411 roughly Currently you can actually get um, iPads on monthly phone contracts, which is what I have done So I pay 300 Rand monthly for a period of 36 months, which will equivalent to $17 a month for 36 months now, as I said, the reason why I've done this because looking at all of the other programs, pretty much all of them, except for Sketchbook, Sketchbook and Sketchbook Pro, require a secondary device to draw. They do not have the option to have a primary device. You'll still have to buy a drawing tablet or a touchscreen pen if you have a laptop that is touchscreen. That is also beneficial, um, such as the Microsoft Surface Pro, uh, Microsoft Surface, there's a couple other small laptops like the Asus ZenBooks and such Chromebooks etc that are now touchscreen. So although you can draw on it with your finger, it is better to have a pen, which means you will either have to get a secondary tablet or you would have to get an additional pen, which usually is between $50 and $100 depending. Um, in rands, the say, Apple Pencil costs 2,000 rands and um, for me and you know you can only use that on Apple but it's a really good pen. Samsung also has pens that are also around 1,000 to 3,000 if not more depending um, as well as the Chromebook and the Microsoft Surface. They all have pens that you can use so at the end of the day, it depends what your costs are, what you're willing to spend on. For me, I found that if I were to buy, I prefer to draw on screen, so I'd either have to get a laptop or something like the iPad with an additional pen as well, plus the payment for the program. Now, Procreate is also, the actual program itself is quite affordable. It has a one-sort of cost of 169 Rand or nine dollars which is very cheap considering most of the other programs it also in my opinion it works fantastic i'm willing to do a review 
as well on just procreate itself um but yeah for me this to, in my opinion procreate is the best in terms of financial uh, financial affordability as well as you know the the cost yeah cost financial ability the actual way that the program works as well um it's pretty good it's pretty intuitive you can import as many brushes as you want and it also has an automatic time lapse function which means that while you draw if you're someone that likes to post to youtube such as myself or youtube shorts or stories or just simply want to record your work um, while you draw you don't have to set up a camera and record yourself because the program does it for you already however this is a setting that you do have to activate as well um, in your settings which is obviously included in this video so you can just take a look but obviously when I do an in-depth review of Procreate itself I will be showing that as well so yeah this is why I think Procreate is the best affordability um, the actual program is great, has time lapse, has many functions. Um, it, for me, it's also been the easiest to learn. I used to draw in Photoshop, but I struggled because I didn't have a pen and I would have to draw on a tablet or I would have to use a tablet, a secondary tablet connected to my desktop or PC and would use that to draw or I would use a mouse. So I mainly used Photoshop for colouring, I didn't draw anything from scratch, but yeah, I think Procreate is by far the best. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you really enjoyed it, please consider subscribing as I'm planning to do more of these sorts of videos in the future. Give it a like as well, it just really helps me and it, it shows me that you do enjoy this content as well. If there are any specifics that you want to see from me in the future, such as you know, um, iPad reviews or program reviews or what I've done in the future as well, please do just let me know in the comments below. Thank you. Goodbye.